chanting, prayers, and singing, thousands and thousands of pilgrims from throughout Russia march for 10 miles under the blazing sun to mark the 700th birthday of St. Sergius of Radoni. He founded Russia's first monastery and furthermore convinced the 14th century Russian princes to stop fighting each other, to unite, to rid the country of its Mongol overlords. Before Sergei Radinsky and after Sergei Radinsky, it's maybe two different Russias. So Russia changed very much after his life. But there was another aspect to the July 18th anniversary, a political one. Critics say that President Vladimir Putin is trying to reinvent St. Sergius as a historical symbol for the president's emphasis on Russian nationalism and conservative moral values. For 70 years of Communist Party rule, the church was brutally repressed. It was resurrected after the Soviet Union collapsed in 1991, but the number of adherents is estimated at under 10%. According to the Constitution, Russia is a secular state, but it is important to the government to be connected uh, with the church because it's an influential institution in the society. Many citizens of Russia who are important in uh, politics and in the business community belong to the Russian Orthodox Church. Even though the Constitution prohibits any religion to be official or mandatory, patriarchs of the Russian Orthodox Church have been blessing presidents to serve the country since the year 2000. Before the revolution, Russian czars were considered anointed by God. The Russian Orthodox Church was actually founded in 988 in what is Ukraine by a different saint, Prince Vladimir. Now that Russia is fighting a proxy war with its neighbor, experts think the Kremlin and the Orthodox Church want a new, homegrown saint. They say that is another reason for the official cult around St. Sergius.